Hello everyone, Nadlabs here. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to remove and add blocks of a tile map from code and let's get right into it. So this, this tutorial is actually very simple and it's uh, less than, um, let's see, 13 lines of code, actually less than 8 lines of code. So essentially all we want to do is whenever there's an input event, we want to make sure that if this event is a click and how did I get this click uh, event here? I went to my project settings, I went to my input map and I just typed in click into the action and I can't add it because it already exists but if you can you can click add and I added a right click because um that's how we were going to remove the blocks and when the, whenever we click we're going to make a variable called a tile and we're using the world to map function and this uh, function is uh, part of the tile map documentation it basically returns um, the coordinates of the tile that we clicked we get this variable right and then we have to set the cell we have to set cell which is a function of tile map again to where we click and tile.x and tile.y are essentially properties uh, part of the uh, variable tile because it returns a vector 2 and we're going to set and the last argument here of this set cell function is negative 1 because in a tile map negative 1 actually means invalid cell or it doesn't exist or a blank cell but now if we right click we want to make sure that it responds or there's a block there now so we just do the exact same thing Except for the last one, we just set it to zero. And the reason we set it to zero is because if we go to the tile map, we can see that um, because it's an array of blocks, uh, arrays start counting from zero, not one. So this is actually tile zero. And if we run it, we get exactly what it should do. When we, uh, when we click, left click, it deletes blocks. When we right click, it uh, makes blocks. And there's a couple things you need to do. Uh, the reason the rigid bodies here are reacting to what happens to the tiles is because these uh, rigid bodies here have a collision shape, right? But uh, when we make our tiles, we want to make sure that if I click here, we want to make sure that they also have a, uh, a collision shape and that's it. Hope you enjoyed. 